I'm a chemistry tutor with my tutor and today I'm going to be talking you through how to do a classic mole calculation uh, just like one you might get on your GCSE chemistry exam. So the first part is to calculate the number of moles of ammonium nitrate in a 0.4 mole per decimeter cubed solution with a volume of 100 centimeters cubed and then the second part asks us what mass of ammonium nitrate would be required to make this solution. So when I get a question like this and there's lots of numbers in it I'll go through and highlight all of the interesting things. So so the first part asks us to calculate a number of moles. It also gives us a concentration and it gives us a volume. And then the second part asks us to calculate a mass. So starting off with the first part, um, we're going to use the classic equation, which is the number of moles equals concentration times the volume over 1000. And we're using this equation just because they've given us each of those quantities. They're never going to ask you something about an equation that you've never seen before. And I'm sure you've all seen this equation before. Um, you don't need to use the divide by 1000 if your volume is already in decimeters cubed. This just does the conversion for you, but ours is in centimeters cubed, so we do need to use it. If we pop the numbers in from our question, we put in 0.4 multiplied by 100 divided by 1000. And that gives us the number of moles as 0.04, and it has the units of mole. So that's the first part done, nice and easy. The second part is a little bit trickier just because it might be hard to see why or how you're going to get a mass from a solution because that is kind of a big step. Um, but we, what we do know is that when we create a solution, we basically mix a powder of solid form um, with some a solvent, so water, for example, and it makes our solution. And what we can say is that the number of moles that we have at the start in solid form is going to be the same as the number of moles we have at the end in our solution. So this number of moles that we've just calculated in solution is also the same as the number of moles that we had at the start when we were mixing our solid with our water. So if we're thinking about the solid NH4, NH3. We can still use that number of moles. And they've actually quite helpfully given us um, some atomic weights up here. So we actually know um, a formula mass as well, which is just going to be 14 times by 2, because there are two nitrogens, 1 times by 4, because there are four hydrogens. And then 15.9, that's like a 16, sorry, 15.9 times by three, which is your oxygen. So I've just taken each of the atomic weights, multiplied it by the number of times it appears in that formula, and then added them all together. And that MR comes to 79.7. So we have a number of moles and we have a formula mass, and I'm sure you're all aware of this equation, which is the number of moles equals the mass divided by the formula mass. And we want the mass at the end of the day, that's what the question is asking us about. So if we rearrange that, we get the mass is equal to the number of moles times by the formula mass, and then we just pop the numbers in that we've already got. So 0 0.04 multiplied by 79.7. And that gives us a mass of 3.188. So there's just two final checks that we need to do before we move on to the next question, or you would do in an exam. Uh, the first is to check that everything's in the correct units. If they've asked you to put something in kilograms or in moles or in grams, uh, you need to make sure that you do that. But because they haven't specified, I just leave them as moles and grams for this question. And the second check is significant figures. If we go up to the top, the question actually gives um, both the concentration and the volume to one significant figure. So our answers also need to be to one significant figure. For the number of moles, that's easy because it's already done. It's 0.4, um, but we quickly need to change the mass. So that would just become three grams. And that's our final answer. And that's our final answer. So the number of moles is 0.04 and the, num uh, the mass um, is three grams. Um, and that's how I would answer this question. 
best of luck to all of you in the rest of your exams. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll be absolutely great. Um, just remember to stay positive, take lots of breaks and keep working hard like I'm sure you're already doing. Thank you so much. Bye.